I'd suggest to others, if they felt tired during the day, to get tested. The difference it's made now, I wish I had that difference a long time ago. My name is Lachlan O'Brien, I'm 26 years of age and I currently reside in Templestowe in Victoria. I broke my neck in a rugby accident, it was coming up to nine years ago. The drill involved running through a bunch of players. When I fell down, I fell on an awkward angle and someone behind me fell over the top of me and from there, I broke my spine. Paraplegic. I have two passions. I love to cook. I cook almost three meals a day. I actually studied to be a chef four years ago, but shortly realised that it's quite hard being in a wheelchair cooking. And the second passion is riding. I love riding. I love getting out training, pushing myself, but I also love riding and seeing beautiful views. At the end of last year, I actually completed the Seven Peaks Challenge, which involves riding up seven alpine resorts around Victoria. Easily one of the hardest things I've ever done. Your arm's constantly telling you to quit, to stop, just give up. But that's the biggest thing about pushing through that and getting to the top of the mountain, looking down and going, I just got up that. When I had my annual review for my spinal injury, I was approached by, I think it was a sleep specialist, and long story short, found out that I had sleep apnea. Initially using the CPAP machine, I had um, a few issues like rubbing on my nose, getting used to the fact that there's um, air blowing straight into your face. But after a while I adapted to it and since then it's very much changed my life. Later in the year I'm actually going over to Mexico for two weeks to see my sister's wedding, which I'm very excited for. And then um, after that I'm heading down to South America for four months and I definitely will take my CPAP machine as it makes a big difference for my mental health and just in general fulfill my energy. Over there I'll be volunteering teaching English and then also riding where I can and training hard and get closer towards my goal of one day achieving gold in the Paralympics.